Hello everybody, this is Dr. Jawad. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, bell notification, the like button, and leave a comment and share this video with a friend or post it on your Facebook, Instagram, whatever site to help share with others because Karen is sharing and I appreciate it. Another one, this is Dr. Jawad. Now, I'm getting a lot of questions about stomach acid. What does it mean by low stomach acid or high stomach acid? What's the deal with stomach acid? Remember, everything starts in the stomach. Yes, the first, line, the first part of digestion is the saliva, the amylase that you secrete when you're digesting carbohydrates. But, and I don't want to get into a lot of detail with the other enzymes, so I'm strictly keeping this to a few enzymes, and that's hydrochloric acid and pepsin. Those are the two main, because proteins are digested where in the stomach so your stomach this big mixing pot or i would say cement truck mixer this is the first line of defense because really your immune system is based in your gut this is the first line of defense this is where the immune system starts because when we're eating food remember food is very very toxic so we need what's called hydrochloric acid and other digestive enzymes which i'm not going to go into the other ones but we need that to denature the proteins and help break it down. And also too, we need hydrochloric acid because of the critters, the foreign uh, pathogens that come in with food because food is very toxic. But due to a healthy immune system, your stomach with the help of hydrochloric acid helps ward off bad pathogens. This is why if you have low stomach acid, this is why you get sick or disruptive upset stomach indigestion all right because hydrochloric acid is very very important because a lot of times people are like well what about an alkaline stomach no 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 now we have different ph's all over the body i'm strictly talking about the ph of the stomach i'm not talking about the ph of the small intestines the large intestines and elsewhere the bloodstream i'm not talking about that let's just talk about the stomach the pH should be between one and three. That's very acidic, very acidic. Why? If it's above three, like let's say 3.5 or even four and above, because seven is neutral. If you have an alkaline stomach, it inactivates the enzymes in the stomach. So what's happening, you're not breaking down the food properly and you're, it's going through the small intestines in, in, small intestines in chunks and you're not, and you get malnutrition because it starts here. In addition, because stomach, the stomach is a first organ of digestion, which means also the stomach acid is your first line of defense. Okay, so there's various enzymes in the stomach. I'm just talking about a few of them, and they're activated by the pH. So the enzyme I'm talking to is talking about first is pepsin. Pepsin helps digest proteins, and we need proteins for the basic building blocks, amino acids, which help fuel the system, and also too, muscle repair. So pepsin, in order for pepsin to be released, the pH has to be between 1.5 and 1.6 in the stomach. So when you eat food, it comes through the esophagus into the stomach, and pepsin is activated by hydrochloric acid. So if you don't have enough hydrochloric acid, then it's not activating the other enzymes. In addition, the pH, the proper pH is between one and three. So we have a flap on the top of the stomach, which, which closes from the top of the stomach to the esophagus, the cardiac sphincter. And when the pH is between one and three, that sphincter closes. But what if it's above three? What if it's above four, five, six, and so forth? Well, it doesn't close, and this is where you get GERD. GERD. It cre because it creeps up the esophagus. And so what do they give you? Antiacids. You don't need antiacids. You actually need more, more of the constituents, which will create more hydrochloric acid to close the valve. So the acid in the stomach triggers bile release. Now there's other videos I've done about bile, which I'm going to link down below. It triggers the bile release because food is processed in the stomach and then it opens up through the duodenum, through the pyloric sphincter, and the acid in the stomach triggers the liver, well, the gallbladder, to release bile, okay, which is alkaline, 
And also, in addition, the one of the pancreatic enzymes, I'm not going to go into all of them, so please don't type in, what about these other ones? No, I'm just talking about bicarbonate. Between bile and bicarbonate, it makes the food in the small intestines more alkaline. It decreases the acidity or swings over to a greater pH. Both of these enzymes are triggered by the stomach acid. That's why the acid has to be between one and three. Because proper pH will start the digestion process of proteins. And you will have a more complete digestion chain of events. So if you don't have enough hydrochloric acid, now remember, it's that pepsin, which helps break down proteins, is activated by hydrochloric acid. So if you don't have enough hydrochloric acid, you're not starting this nice chain of events. And you're getting malnourished. You're getting the side effects of low, low stomach acid, which I'll show right now. So the question is, how can I naturally do it? I know there's people out there who say, how can I naturally build up my hydrochloric acid in my stomach? Sure, you could do it. And I'm not, I don't know the proper amount, so please don't type in how many milligrams, what's the dosage? No, I don't know. But it's made naturally by chloride, hence hydrochloric acid. Sodium, potassium, zinc, iodine, and even Himalayan sea salt, all those combine will help produce a nice healthy balance of hydrochloric acid in your stomach. Or, this is what I recommend, supplement. Now, take a shot glass, get in thirds, so you can do one third apple cider vinegar, one third volcano lemon water, and top it off with just regular water. And drink that on an empty stomach. I don't care when, so please don't ask when. It could be in between meals. But when you have the meal, you want to take in betaine, hydrochloric acid, and pepsin. It's a supplement. I sent the link right down below. You want to take the betaine like right before you take the first bite or within your eating process. But you do want to take it because pepsin helps di digest proteins. You want to take it with a good protein meal, not an apple. Okay. In addition, chew your food, have smaller meals, chew your food. You want to chew at least 30 times before you swallow. All right. Now the question is, well, how do I know if I have low hydrochloric acid? Well, I'll see you soon.